Hi everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck and later on, I will clarify with my Time to Shine deck. Gemini, here are your cards for this week, starting the 3rd of April. And from the Teacup Tarot deck, your overall energy is the Wheel of Fortune. This is lovely. This is like the Breath of Fresh Air card. This is a lovely forward momentum coming in. Things moving forward that you felt have been a little bit delayed or a little bit stuck. Not anymore. This card also reminds you to take along with you your gifts, your talents, everything you do well. This is a card of inspiration, of positivity and moving forward. The three of pencils in your help or your hurdle part of the reading says this is the card of healing and moving on, knowing that the situation will improve. This is you with your sights set now on where you want to go. And your guidance here, the Ten of Pencils, is the card that says, expect the situation to improve. With every step on the ladder, things get better even better and so much better. So a much improved situation here for you and a fresh movement forward, leaving the past behind and moving on with this new positive energy. How can we help ourselves? The Queen of Coins is here. Now the Queens are authority figures in the deck. And the Queen of Coins absolutely personifies practicality, grounded common sense and resourcefulness. She makes sure that everybody who comes into her orbit has all their needs met. She's very home focused, very family focused and very sensible with money. So these are the qualities that you need to be focusing on for you this week. Grounded, common sense, being practical, focusing on the home, focusing on the family and making sure that your finances are sorted and settled and really use common sense when you're dealing with those as well. Pulling it all together, the three of teacups says there could possibly a be a reason to celebrate. This is a card of happiness and joy, celebrations, get togethers, meetups with other people and a reason to enjoy a quality cup of tea and a slice of cake. And your final outcome card, the strength card says use kindness and be assertive all at the same time. Gentle strength wins. It's the kindness that brings the positive results. So be strong, have that self-confidence, stand up for yourself and be kind as you're doing so because that will get you so much further, so much faster. So let's just clarify with the Time to Shine deck. The three of thought, we have a double message here. Same card, different deck. Trust that things will get better. Time, just take a little time out to relax, talk things over and expect the situation to improve. The eight of emotion is about making this positive move forward towards something good. Look, she has her back to us. She's already made a decision. And she's following that sat-nav to success. The five of thought comes in here with your guidance. And it says it's time for you to move in a new direction now. Make your plans, but learn from experience. Take all your experience and put it into this new plan. And be ready to move in this lovely new direction. 
How can we help ourselves? The six of emotions says it's a card of the past. So it's remembering the past with love. It also reminds you to consider what you always wanted to do. This is, could be something coming around again when perhaps it wasn't the ideal time before. Now you might have a second chance to do just that. So consider there might be a lovely opportunity. Look here on the card. She can be a go to university, be an astronaut or a chef. And she's thinking about it. What would she like to do? So time for you to just step back, look at your options. And if there's an opportunity to do something that you felt you've missed out on in the past, it could well be here right now. The seven of emotion says, think you think everything through and choose with care. Look at all of your options carefully. Get all of your information, take your time, read all the information before deciding. So you need to just take care with that this week that you choose the sunflower and not the cactus. And the final outcome card, the four of emotion is about wonderful opportunities coming in, but you need to stand back and look out for them. Now we were talking about these opportunities to do something new here. Stand back, take your time, look at the bigger picture, think it all through. Because these new opportunities and this good news are coming in towards you and you need to make sure that you see them and you're aware of them when they come. So looking at the cards overall, a positive movement forward for you, expecting the situation to improve, making a brilliant new plan, learning from experience, and then moving on here, Time to celebrate and be mindful to make your choices with care. Be sensible, be grounded, be resourceful. And when you use all those qualities, here's your movement forward. This is you being gently assertive. Here's your new plan and you climbing the ladder to success. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, Click that subscribe button, make the bell ring. Thank you for doing that. It makes a huge difference to me. And then you'll get notified when I do the next reading for you as well. So take care now and I'll see you soon.